yeah, it's it's important because um, we need the points. Obviously, we're not uh, high enough above the red line. You know, we need the points to keep continuing what we're trying to do and get a playoff spot and uh, keep trying for one of the higher seeds. So, your home games are your best opportunities, especially when things get tight in the you know this point of the year to get those three points. Um, so I don't really know how to put it into words, but it's very important to get those points. You guys have had some difficulty on the road, but have played a lot um, better at home. Uh, uh -huh. Obviously, that changed a little bit in San Jose in terms of road form. But what do you think it is about playing at home that you guys have been able to do a little bit better? At? Um, yeah, it's a tough one because uh, obviously in the beginning of the year it was the opposite. So I, you know, I'm not inclined to agree with you 100%. Um, you know, we got blown out in LA, and that didn't help. The confidence went down a little bit, and the road form slipped. Um, more lapses of concentration in games, uh, especially on the road. I think at home, obviously, you have your fans. Everybody gets up for it. It's easy to play and get up for those games. It's harder. You have to be more of a grinder and have more of a grinder's mentality uh, to get road points. So that, I think, getting that sorted against San Jose, I think it wasn't the prettiest. It wasn't the most exciting game, but it gave us a very, very good chance to win the game, and we felt like we left two points on the table. So obviously, we're excited to get back home. Um, we'll be up for it. Guys will be ready to go. and. We got to produce. You guys, you, you obviously had that run of good form. Now you've gone a couple of weeks without a win. Um, mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is like coming back home with this game here is sort of an opportunity to maybe kick off a, a, another sort of positive stretch? Yeah, for sure. I mean, but you, you just take the games one at a time, really. It's just a chance to get three points. That's all we're, we're focused on. Um, you know, every game is different, and it's hard to get runs going. Um, so it, it, it's nice to start that at home with the three points. I think that's exactly what we're going for. You know, in terms of form, it's just kind of how this league is with, with how hard it is to win on the road and how hard it is to string together results. Um, you know, it's just kind of where we are in the season and the schedule. Um, so it's an opportunity to get those three points and hopefully start another good run. But like I said, it's kind of one game at a time and then the runs just kind of start on their own. You can't try to start a run, if that makes sense. Caleb mentioned, uh, obviously Diego Valeri is uh, really important for you guys mm -hmm. as a tackle. And Caleb mentioned, you know, he's still coming along. He's still going to get yeah. better from the injury. With you knowing what it's like to come back from an injury, I mean, how hard is it to kind of stay patient and knowing that it's going to take a long time to get back to that top level. Yeah, it's impossibly hard. I mean, I think people compare Valeri coming back last year to this year, but the injuries were night and day in terms of, uh, you know, severity and what he was coming back from. And I know too, that it just, it takes a lot of time. Your body's still healing. Um, when you take four, five, six months to get, let something heal. And then you start putting it through the force of a 90 minute game. Uh, it breaks you down again and it takes you backwards and you have to rebuild it. Um, a lot of times to get back to that strength that you need to be able to play 90 minutes and recover properly. So I know what he's going through. Um, uh, I commend him for his efforts. He's he's putting in a good shift. Um, he's frustrated and, you know, it just is, is normal. I, I think the last part to come is that attacking side because you have to be so sharp, so precise in and around the goal to get those goals where for me it's a little more, um, you know, there's a little more margin for error in terms of defending more and stopping guys from scoring goals is always easier than guys actually scoring goals. So I think that's where he's at. He's close. Um, he looked great in training today. So we're, we're behind him and we can't wait to see him back, but we just got to be patient. Knowing that you guys are where you are on the table, you're right in the race, knowing mm -hmm. that as he continues to get better, your attack's going to only improve. How important is that, knowing that he might be there at, towards the end of the season? Yeah, well, that's what we hope. I mean, that's the whole plan, what this thing was geared towards. Uh, and then when he becomes sharper than other guys will too and things will open up and that's the, the you know the big grand plan uh, obviously guy, teams right now can zero in on guys because we, we, we're not producing enough from from everywhere all over the team um, in terms of goals scored so once Valeri gets healthy that should really help us go I mean he's our he's our main man and we need him to to produce for us um, and when that happens that'll free up other guys too but I don't want it to make it sound like it's all about Valeri. This is a team effort, and we all have to collectively make sure that we're doing our bit um, to score goals, to win games, uh, and to help this team win. Ideally, you know, whoever you're playing alongside, uh, you're going to be able to slot right in and, and just play with them perfectly. But how important is it to really get a couple of games playing alongside the same guy? It's probably Diego Chara, and, and sort of get that chemistry back going again. It's good. Um, you know, I think we figured it out, especially on the defensive side of the ball. 
Um, I think it's diff more difficult for him because he doesn't know what I'm capable of at this point in terms of range and um, where I'm at coming back. So we're getting there. Um, I don't know if it's a, a huge amount of games that we need, but uh, definitely every game helps. I mean, I've only played, I'm not even sure, five, six, seven, maybe, I can't remember, seven or eight games, whatever we're at now. And, you know, that's basically a preseason if you think about it. So now we really have to start to push on to the next year uh, and try to make a push. And it kind of goes back to the Valeri question too, whereas now we've got 11 games left to go here. We really need to take these 11 games and, and use them um, as real good indicators of where we're at um, and see if we can get to, to peak form down the stretch because that's what we're going to need to win these kind of games. It's going to be some tight ones, going to be some good ones. I think we're all looking forward to them, but we need to peak um, pretty soon here. You mentioned you know, it might be a little harder for Chara just uh, not knowing exactly where where you're at, but for you having a guy as consistent as, as he is for this team, how does that make things easier for you? Yeah, it's good. Uh, Charis, Charis kind of speaks for himself. I mean, he makes plays, you know, he makes the game easier for the guy next to him, so that's why he's in there. Um, you know, he can read things well, and that's just what Char brings to the team. So I think he's done well. It's been, been difficult for everybody, you know, with the rotations going on and guys coming in and out, but we're all professionals and whoever's in there is in there to do a job. Um, and I think that speaks more to the individual qualities of the guys that you're talking about, uh, Diego, is, you know, in particular in this case, but um, Jack and, and George as well. I think it speaks to the individual qualities that no matter who you put in there, they tend to come in and, and keep a high level. So uh, I think that's, I think that's the best way to answer that with those guys coming in and you see the team performances, it doesn't drop um, when you put different guys in there.